Hey guys, Xavier for Isaacar.com and in this video we are going to compare iPhone 10 with an iPhone 5s. Now I know there is no comparison between these two devices as one of them was released almost 5 years ago and the other one is currently Apple's flagship device. What this comparison is about is screen real estate. As you can see there is a significant screen size difference between these two iPhone models and with iPhone 10 you get more space to show content on your screen. This makes a huge difference in day to day use especially when you're using applications that have a lot of text and images on the screen. So this comparison is for someone who has an iPhone 5s or an SE and is considering to upgrade to an iPhone 10. In this video I'm going to open different applications that you may use in your day-to-day -day use and show you how they do look like in these two screen sizes. So let's get started. Let's start by launching the notes application. As you can see the both these devices have the same note opened and on the iPhone 10 you see more lines of text compared to iPhone 5s. When you bring up the keyboard, you get a wider keyboard with predictive bar and toolbar on top and still you can see more text on the, on the iPhone 10. Seeing more text when you're typing or reading notes is very useful, it makes the user experience much better. Moving on to next app, here we have mail application opened on both devices. On the iPhone 5s, you only see three and a half mails, whereas on the 10, you see more than five. Same is the case with the compose screen. On the iPhone 10, you, you get more lines. When you're composing the email, you need to see what you're typing. And on the iPhone 10, the experience is much better thanks to the more real estate that you're getting. Here we have Tweetbot running, a very popular Twitter client. On the 5S, you only see two tweets, whereas on iPhone 10, you get up to five tweets at the same time. This means there's less scrolling involved when you're using Tweetbot on iPhone 10 compared to iPhone 5S. Same is the case with the App Store application. There's less scrolling involved and you see more content at the same time on the larger screen. You get two or three more app options when you're browsing the app section of the App Store app. This makes the browsing experience much better and lets you see more content at the same time, saving you a lot of time when you're browsing the App Store. Moving on to next application, let's launch calculator on both devices. Uh, when it comes to calculator, there's no big difference between iPhone 10 and iPhone 5s however when you open the weather app there is a big difference you get more lines of forecast on iphone 10 whereas on iphone 5s you have to scroll sideways and you have to scroll up to get more data moving on to the next step here we have youtube application running on both iphone 10 and iphone 5s and to be honest the difference isn't that huge you get same amount of videos on a single screen you do get larger thumbnails on the iPhone 10 but that is because of the larger screen uh, moving on to Safari here we have iosaka.com running on both devices and the difference is quite noticeable as you can see when you scroll up and bring up the featured area on top you don't get to see any articles on the 5s whereas two articles are visible on iPhone 10 when you scroll up you see more list of uh, the list of articles on the iPhone 10 is longer than iPhone 5s. Next up is the Reddit app. On the iPhone 10, you see more posts at the same time compared to iPhone 5s. I'm going to align the text on both the devices at the same spot. And as you can see on iPhone 5s, you cannot see the image on the second post, whereas on the iPhone 10, it's fully visible. Next up is the Spotify app. Let's launch the app and as you can see on the main page, on the iPhone 10 you get two rows, two full rows of albums, whereas on the iPhone 5s you don't even see the second row. 
when you are in the album view you get three extra song options on the iPhone 10 whereas on iPhone 5s you only get one scrolling up it's the same story the options you get are more on the iPhone 10 compared to iPhone 5s lastly I'm going to open the settings application and you will see that there are more options that show up on the iPhone 10 compared to iPhone 5s when we align the options on both devices you can see that the list on the iPhone 5s ends at privacy whereas you get five other options on iPhone 10 on control center you get two extra rows of options at the bottom which can be very useful whereas on the iPhone 5s you have to scroll up to gain access to these extra options so this was our look at the iPhone 5s and iPhone 10 and our attempt at comparing the real estate of these two devices if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one we will see you in our next video peace